welcome back to Eat Your Way, and I'm Gage. And I'm Andy. And today we got a video relating to Easter. It's one of my favorite holidays. Really now? It is. It is just really like, fun. you know, when you're a kid and you bounce around and you grab in the eggs and you get those cool, awesome treats. And that is what we're doing today, guys. We are ranking some of these Easter trees that we have planned. So mm -hmm. I'm quite excited. <laughs> yeah, really now. So I just, there's so many like Easter candies I used to love as a kid and now we get to retry them. So let's get started. Let's go ahead and get started. <laughs> All right, so our go-to and first one up for the Easter snacks is Peeps. Now, I used to grow up, or growing up, I used to put Peeps in the freezer, let them sit overnight, and I used to eat them like that. And they'd be nice, hard, and cold. It was awesome. Bobby actually taught me that trick. Okay. <laughs> Okay, I never heard of that, but okay. <laughs> yeah, leave a comment down below if you did that because I sure did. <laughs> but anyway, this is just nostalgia for me. And we got the yellow bunnies, always go to. I was more of the bunny guy, not the fur kind. See, I never had peeps growing up. Really? It was always chocolate in the house or like a variety of like the Easter chocolate. Ah, uh, okay, okay, well. I mean, I've had peeps before, but just never for Easter kind of deal. Easter. Easter. E Easter. <laughs> Easter. All right, well, here we go. Cheers. Cheers. Pretty nice. Pretty nice. You got a lot of marshmallow, mm -hmm. a little bit of sugar, like that candy, or like really, really sweet. Uh-oh. What was that face? Uh-oh. It's so sweet. <laughs> yeah, it's sweet. You got sugar on sugar. <laughs> but but um, I'm not an overly sweet person. I guess like over the past videos you've watched, I'm not so much for sweets. Mm. This is a little too sweet for my liking. Oh, I love it. I love mm -mm. it. It's like the chewiness of the marshmallow and the sugary top on it. Now the marshmallow is really good. Yeah. I like the marshmallow. It's fluffy. It's not like stale. It's mm -hmm. really awesome. Yeah. So, in my honest opinion, uh, since this is our very first one, I'm going to be a little bit lenient on and I will give it a six. Four. Four? <laughs> no, 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 no. Four, four. A four, yeah. All right. So, six, four. We got a ten. Ten for peeps. Woo. All right, guys. We have now one of my favorite chocolates is the Reese's. But it's the Reese's eggs with the pieces in them. I don't think I've ever had this. You never had the Reese's eggs? Mm -mm. I've had the eggs, but I never had the ones with the pieces in it. No, I've, I've had Reese's. Don't get me wrong. I love yeah. Reese's, but I've never had the the Reese's that are egg shaped with the egg piece or the Reese pieces inside. Huh. Try I it. have no knowledge of this. Mm. If this is an egg, this is a weird looking egg. <laughs> We're so good though. Oh my god. Oh my god. It's thick. Mm hmm. See, this is perfect. You get the sweetness of the chocolate coating in there, and then the sweetness of the pieces inside, and then it's that salty peanut butter taste that's like, oh my god, it gets everything. This is a ton of peanut butter, like more than your actual like, Reese cup. Mm -hmm. Oh my god. Oh god, though. <laughs> I feel like the pieces or the pieces inside of it is unnecessary. Really? Mm-hmm. I kind of like the pieces inside. Adds a little bit more sweetness to it instead of that like really salty saltiness. Mm-hmm. I think the peanut butter just overwhelms it and you don't really get to eat the pieces off them. But it's good, don't get me wrong. There's a ton of peanut butter in it. I love it. Um, but it's better than peeps. <laughs> It's better than the peeps. Yeah, I'm gonna give this a uh, a seven. I'm gonna give it a seven. It's really good. I like yeah, it. so, it's awesome. So 14. 14 for the Reese's egg with the pieces inside. Woo! All right. So now we got something that I've never seen before, and it is cotton tails, uh, white cheddar cheese balls. I never had this before, and I am super excited because she, she, I love me some cheese. <laughs> she loves white cheddar on everything. <laughs> he get... knows that when we go to the movie theater, white cheddar, mm, I need that on the popcorn immediately. Best type of popcorn topping. Don't at me, but it's true. <laughs> All right, so I'm um, actually, and it's, oh, and I like how they have the logo. It says made with real cheese. Yes. 
like it's made with fake cheese. <laughs> Alright, you know what I gotta do? <laughs> I gotta do it. It's not bad. I've had better though. There's very little white cheddar on it. Yeah, it's more, it's very cheesy, but it's not like white cheddar cheesy. No, it's not white cheddar cheesy. And you got the, I don't know what the, the crunch is. I don't know what the thing is made of. Like corn. The corn, yeah. Mm -hmm. I taste more of the corn than the white cheddar. Well, this was a disappointment. <laughs> I had high expectations for this. I do too. Yeah, it was just more or less like, you get that cheesy flavor, but it's not like white cheddar cheesy. It's like mm -hmm. very salty cheesy, you know? Yeah. I'm giving this uh, I'm giving this a four. I mean, I'd still eat it, so a five, I'd give it. All right, so the white cheddar cheese ball cotton tails, a nine. A nine. All right, so. There you have it. Moving on to the next one. Woo! So up next we have Robin eggs and it's made with malt milk candy and a crunchy shell with, and it's made by Whoopers. Anyway, I'm gonna go ahead and try this. I'm not gonna lie, I kinda like it. It threw me off. It threw me off when I took a bite out of it. Um, Yeah, so it's just, it's just a big, Whooper. It's a whooper. It's just a big whooper. That, that's all it and is. And it has the hard shell on it. Mm -hmm. It tastes good. I like whoopers themselves or whoppers or however you pronounce it. But it's hard shell. It's throwing me off. Right yeah. Here. Like, it's. That's super crunchy. Wow. Very crunchy. Well, it does have a crunchy shell on it. Mm -hmm. So it's letting you know. Uh, it's better than the popcorn. Mm -hmm. I give it a five. I'm gonna go with the six because it's not too sweet. I can eat it. It's just the hard shell throws me out for a loop. So a six. A six. A six. Five, six, 11. Looking at 11 with the whooper. <laughs> yeah, moving on. All right, guys, next we have the Cadbury cream egg. Now, it's been a while since I had the these cream eggs from Cadbury, but I remember the commercials always. Oh, the commercials were awesome. <laughs> These are my mother's favorite Easter candy. And I think these are like the most popular Easter candy you can get out there. So I don't know if, I haven't had these in so long. I don't know if they're hyped or not. So it's milk chocolate eggs with soft fondue sensor. So. Can I open it? Can you open it? <gasps> I think I can. Oh, she thinks she can. Oh, oh, hell, hello, look at that. What oh, the heck? I that looks know. like an egg. <clears throat> Oh, it's like, okay, I'm on. It's like there's the yolk, and then the white, and then there's the chocolate shell. That's crap. They put a lot of effort into this. I don't remember this. I, I don't know. It's been so long since I had this. Bottom is up. Oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, whoa. <laughs> oh, hello. That is good. Holy crap. That is. Mm. It's really good. That is, holy crap, that's so good. It is really good. Mm. It's just slightly messy. Mm hmm. Slightly messy, but really good. It's It's got that chocolatey sweetness where it's like sweet, but mm -hmm. it's not like super sweet like the peeps were. Mm -hmm. There was no added sugar. And then this cream, it flows, it's velvety, it's lovely. Mm hmm. This is really good. I understand the hype. Mm hmm. Mm. Oh, it's made with Hershey's chocolate, too. Oh! Well, that makes sense. Mm. Okay. Um, best thing yet. I'm giving this a, a strong nine. It beats that Reese Pieces 100%. Yeah. I want to give it a nine, though. I'm going to go with an eight. Eight? An eight, yes. Okay. So you're looking at about 17. Woo! These are good. Haha, <laughs> the rest are mine. All right, guys, up next we have the Russell Stoven Marshmallow Eggs. 
These look pretty, pretty nice. I mean, the picture itself. The picture itself, and it's packaged really well. I don't know. I, I remember eating these as a kid, but I don't remember eating. I don't remember what they are like. Tastes like. Yeah, I remember these as a kid, especially like during Easter parties. Like the parents would always give these out to the kids. Now this looks like a real egg compared to the <laughs> Reese cups egg. Do better, Reese. Do better. Oh my gosh. Don't come at me, Reese. I'm sorry. Mmm. I like this a lot. Okay, the marshmallow is way better than the peeps. Mm -hmm. The chocolate is way better than the. Uh. Mmm. The whooper. The whooper. This is really good. I like this. Very subtle. Mm-hmm. I like it. I like the it. Chocolate, the marshmallow is really fluffy. Mm-hmm. Chocolate is very good. I'm giving this a... I'll give it an eight. I like more than Peeps and Reese's. I think this is my favorite. Really? Of them all. Yeah. I think this is like a perfect 10 for me. Cause it's not sweet. The marshmallow is nice and creamy. It's not stale. It's not like the peeps where it's like overwhelming. Mm -hmm. Chocolate is like just delicious. I love it. I think it's a 10. All right. So you're looking about 18. That's the first 10 you gave something, I think. Yeah. Holy crap. That's wild. <laughs> that's, that's saying something. Okay. Well, you're looking at this as an 18. Probably the highest number we've had in a while. Yeah. All right. Almost a perfect score. Almost. Just not quite. <laughs> All right. Moving on to the next and final item. Woo. All right. So our next and final item is Cadbury with milk chocolate with crisp sugar shell mini eggs. So they are small. They're smaller than the Whooper eggs, and but For they're sure. made with the same Cadbury uh, company that made that cream fondue. It smells really good. It smells like a cookie almost. Holy crap, it does smell like a cookie. What? Oh, she went ahead. Okay. It's a little lackluster for mm -hmm. me. It just kind of, it's like an M&M. Just like an M&M? Yeah. It's just, you can taste the Hershey Kiss, maybe, and it's just wrapped around with uh, a sugary outer. So basically an M&M. Yeah, basically. <laughs> basically like an M&M. &M. Like, I, I feel like everybody kind of knows what the hard shell and the chocolate of the M&M tastes like. And plus, Hershey is Hershey and M&M are part of the same company. So, mm -hmm. anywho, it just tastes like your basic M&M, and it's just lackluster for me. Mm -hmm. It's not doing anything. Um, I don't know. I'll probably give it a. I mean, I kind of like the white cheddar popcorn more than that, in my opinion. You like the white cheddar more? Mm-hmm. Uh, so I'm gonna give this a, a four. I'm gonna have to agree with you on the four as well. Yeah. So you're looking at about an eight for a last Cadbury, or Cadbury egg. Mini egg. Mini eggs, all right. So let's go ahead and finalize this. All right, so that Andy has the uh, total scoring and the ranking of all the Easter treats. I am low-key kind of full. <laughs> Hyped on little sugar, but that's okay. So Andy, if you may. All right, so. <clears throat> In seventh place, we have the mini eggs from Cadbury, which is eight points. Okay. Uh, in sixth place, we have the whitetail cheese balls at nine points. Fifth place, we had the peeps at ten. Oh, that hurts. Fourth place, we had the robin eggs at eleven. Then we had in third place da -da -da -da, Reese's eggs with the pieces at fourteen points. That's fair. The second is the Cadbury cream egg at seventeen, mm -hmm. and the number one spot for the best Easter treat is the Russell Stove and marshmallow egg at eighteen points. I think we did pretty good on this ranking. It was pretty good, yeah. I, I think we did really. I good. hopped on sugar for sure. Oh, one hundred percent. It was great. I had a fun time. Yeah. Um, so that, there you have it. So leave a comment down below what you thought about the video or what was your favorite Easter candy um, in this video. Or if we didn't feature Easter candy, leave a comment down below what uh, we should do next time. And guys, just wanting to let you guys know we have social media pages. You can find all the links down below. We are going to now announce our comment of the week video for mm -hmm. this time. And it comes from Brian Ziegelhafer. 
And he said, awesome, with an exclamation point. And that was on our secret menu, our Christmas secret menu uh, for Starbucks. So thank you, Brian, for leaving the comment down below. You're pretty awesome too. Mm -hmm. Yep. So there you have it, guys. Make sure to like, comment, and subscribe to the channel to be part of your e way community. And click that bell for notifications whenever we post a video or something new coming out, whether it be on our videos or stories. Yep. So there you guys have it. Take care. <laughs> Ooh, I love these things. It's stale. <laughs> I open them up, put them in my closet for six, eight months before I go to eat them. <laughs> and oh. then you freeze them? I freeze them too. <laughs> I don't have time to wait for them to go stale. I'll freeze them. I'll put it on the video. <laughs>